This is Jake Devonport with the support team at Van Dyke Software logging on with this video introduction to SecureCRT's button bar. This video will show SecureCRT for Windows, but for those of you running SecureCRT on Linux and Mac OS platforms, the same general concepts will apply to you as well. SecureCRT's button bar is a customizable row of buttons you can use for quick access to saved actions and commands. To display the button bar, open the View menu and select the button bar menu item. By default, the button bar appears below the terminal screen. To hide the button bar, open the view menu and select the button bar menu item again. To add a button, right click on the button bar and choose New Button. When creating a button, you specify the function that will be performed when the button is pressed. In this video, I demonstrate the send string and run script functions. Details about each of the button functions you see here can be found in SecureCRT's help. The send string button function is used to send text or commands to a remote machine. The text you send can be just about anything you want and there are unique commands or codes that can be used to instruct SecureCRT to send special characters like carriage return, new line, escape, tab, or backspace. The backslash p command code causes a one second delay. A command code that is not listed here but is found in the SecureCRT help is the backslash V command which takes text from the clipboard and sends it to the connected machine. You can also send any ASCII character using a backslash followed by the character's three digit octal code. Here I have SecureCRT version 6.7 connected to a Linux machine and I'm at the remote shell prompt. I will create a button with a send string function that will automatically open the VI editor, enable insert mode, and paste the contents of the clipboard. In the send string field, I type the corresponding commands. VI is the remote editor. Backslash R simulates pressing the enter key on the keyboard. A one second pause with backslash P gives the VI application time to start. The I character enables insert mode within the remote VI editor. Another one second pause with a backslash P allows for VI to fully enter insert mode before any text from the clipboard is sent. The backslash V code sends the clipboard text to the remote machine. Another one second pause is inserted to allow for a lengthy paste operation to complete. And finally, an escape character is sent to take the remote VI editor out of insert mode. Although the backslash E code could be used, I'm demonstrating the use of a three digit octal sequence with backslash 033, which is the octal code for the ASCII escape character. I give the button a label and when OK is pressed, the new button appears. When it is pressed, the send string activity starts to take place. If you want to create a copy of an existing button that does something similar but with a slight variation, just right click on the existing button and choose copy. Then right click anywhere on the button bar and choose paste. You'll have a copy of the button which you can modify to perform a slightly different task. You can follow this basic pattern to create a library of buttons for running common commands you use frequently or even complex commands that you don't want to spend time remembering or reinventing. The run script button function is used to extend the functionality of SecureCRT even further by running a SecureCRT script to perform customized actions. The installation of SecureCRT for Windows includes a number of example scripts. The script used in this demonstration takes any text selected in SecureCRT's terminal screen and saves it to a file. I create a new button and in the map button window I choose the run script function. Then I specify the SecureCRT script this button will launch when pressed. After giving the button a label and pressing OK, the new button appears. To demonstrate how this particular script works, I run the top command, select some text on the screen, and then press the script button I created. When prompted, I choose the default actions, and once the file has been written, the script opens it for viewing with the default application. If you're interested in more scripting ideas you can translate into buttons within your SecureCRT environment, there are some valuable resources available to you including the Guide to VB Scripts in SecureCRT, as well as the online Van Dyke Software Scripting Forum. You can also send a SecureCRT question directly to our technical support team. Now that you've seen the send string and run script button functions in action, I'll show a few extras regarding the SecureCRT button bar. Up to this point, I've been interacting with the default button bar, which always exists in SecureCRT. You can create additional button bars named to reflect your specific needs. To create a new button bar, right click anywhere within it and choose the new button bar menu item. Not only can you create a number of different button bars, but you can also associate session configurations with an initial button bar that will be activated automatically when a session is connected or when a tab with that session is activated. In this example, I have two different sessions, remote machine 
and Linux server. The remote machine session is configured with the option to show the configs button bar. On the other hand, the Linux server session is configured with the option to display a different button bar which I've named logs. When I first start an instance of SecureCRT, the default button bar is enabled. When I connect with the remote machine session, you can see that the configs button bar is automatically enabled. When the Linux server session is connected, SecureCRT automatically switches to the logs button bar. If I activate the remote machine sessions tab, the button bar switches automatically back to the configs button bar. I can always choose another button bar from the list of ones I've created, but it's nice to know that for any session I can specify which button bar I'd like to have SecureCRT show initially. On behalf of Van Dyke Software, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have questions, comments, or ideas about the button bar that you'd like to address, or if you would like to see additional video content about other SecureCRT features and functionality, please contact our technical support team. In the meantime, here's to hoping you can take advantage of SecureCRT's button bar to save time in your work. This is Jake Devonport with Van Dyke Software, logging out.